Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this time, we're going to be doing tic-tac-toe. We're going to program a tic-tac-toe game. Uh, we're going to be angling this towards the free code camp advanced front-end development projects. There you go. Um, it's one of the last projects. Uh, I'm going to do this in a little different. Um, it, you can modify this to play against another player. How I'm going to do it is to actually play against a uh, computer. Not a very smart computer, but just a computer. Um, you can easily modify this, like I said, to have uh, just switch back and forth between two players instead. It's relatively easy. I'm going to start off now with um, going back over the cloud9.io. Uh, okay, that's gonna be what I'm using for the IDE. Um, and how do we initialize projects and then be pushing that to GitHub and get that stuff started? All right, so we're going to be needing a few things. I'm going to be using Bower to get my for my front end libraries again, because I used it before. Uh, and from Bower, we're going to be pulling in jQuery and Font Awesome. I've done that in the previous video, so it's going to be almost the same exact thing. So if you watch the other videos, you know how to do it. You can probably just skip right on to part two. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, hold on and let's work our way through this. I'm going to share my screen. You can see what I see. Can you see what I see? Yes, you can. All right, so here is uh, cloud9.io. What I'm doing is I'm going to spin up a virtual machine here. It's called a workspace. It's going to be a bunch of folders and stuff. And I want this to be, I'm going to give this a project name of, let's say, uh, YouTube uh, Tech Who. All right. And that should be good. All right, YouTube.TicTacToe. I'm going to create this workspace. And it's going to be going through and uh, start creating my containers. While it's doing that, I'm going to jump over to GitHub. And I'm going to create a new repository. All right, so I'm going to create a new project. And I call that YouTube Tick Tech. Oh. All right, I'm just making sure I have the same name on either side so that way it works. That way these two systems play well with each other. So go ahead and create that repository. And again, if you remember, here's all the instructions we need. It's all right there. All right, so we have our init. So we initialize GitHub. Um, add a readme. If you really want to add a readme, we already have one. We can have a first commit. We can add a remote uh, to, up to our origin on uh, GitHub here. It's called uh, YouTube Tic Tac Toe. And then we will push uh, our origin to the master online, and then we will be all linked up. So we start off with this basic readme file that's already there. Um, and this actually gives me a server.js as well. I don't need a server.js. That gives you a little uh, text uh, server thing because we're running on Node. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. All right, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start off uh, with a git init. And in case you don't know, this is my terminal window. All right, and so here's my terminal window. Type in your terminal commands. If you're using a Mac, you just open up a terminal. Um, you could also use the Windows uh, GitHub terminal. You could also use um, the uh, GitHub desktop. You could use too to manage this. But I'm going to be using the terminal because I'm using a virtual machine here for the uh, with uh, this IDE so I'm gonna get in it all right so now I have initialized github all that means is I've got myself a little dot git folder that's and you have stuff inside of our dot git folder all of this all right so we have that um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that this links up well and plays well with uh, my stuff up here so it says here uh, make sure we add a comment so control C, control V. All right. So let's see here. All right. Oops. And let's try add space dot. There we go. And then just hitting up. Now I'm going to git uh, commit. Attack M for message. There we go. So, blue. So we created all this. All right, and then after we go through and we uh, add, then we commit. I'm going to go ahead and do the next line, Control C, Control V. And then finally, I'm going to push it, C, V. And it's going to ask me for my username. 
username, and then for my password. And ta-da! Now if I go back over here, I should have a readme with just the Cloud9. All right, this is about their server and their Node.js server and all that. Okay. So that's all set up and we know that it works. So now at any time after I'm done adding files, um, I think in the last video, so I'm not sure if I showed you, if I remember to go back and show you how to actually save this stuff back up to uh, GitHub, how to push it. All you gotta do is add um, commit tack M for a message with some sort of message and then git push. But first let's go ahead and since we have node installed on this machine again, all right, we can just NPM um, install uh, Bower. Save. All right. And so notice that that I is just uh, sure for install. And it's going to take a second as it's going to download a bunch of stuff from Bower and give us a, should give us a, uh, let's see, Bower folder. There we go. So now I have Bower in my node modules. And notice there's a bunch of other stuff in here for async and because I went to a, um, a node uh, set up here instead of just a basic HTML. Either one will work. You'll just have less stuff in your node modules, that's all. Um, and let's not forget that before we can use Bower, we have to Bower admit. All right, and that gives me a Bower.json uh, file. And it's gonna ask me for names and all this stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Remember, you can just kind of click through. There you go. And just hitting enter uh, confirms yes for everything. And you get a bower.json file, which is exactly what we want. And it tells me where I'm at. And you can see it just has some generic you know, thing here. All right, so good enough. Now, bower. What do I want to use? Well, I want to use Bootstrap. All right, so I want to bower. Um, I'm going to power install bootstrap. All right, remember bootstrap's what we've been using with our free code camp stuff. So we use a lot of bootstrap tools. And as you can see, bootstrap pops right up there. Good to go. So power install bootstrap. I want to install jQuery, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll as well just use Bower to install jQuery. And remember to dash dash saves. And then I want to Bower install. Font awesome. All right, and font also I'm going to actually use for my X's and my O's because they actually have little X's and O's there, uh, which makes it easy for me to use. So I'm going to Bower install font awesome. There we go. So all of our dependencies are set up and it was all handled by Bower. Um, so everything should work and it did work. So I know the bootstrap is on 3.3.7 and I know that happens to be the working one. So I know this is gonna all work well and everything's gonna play well with each other, just like I've done before. Now, take a note that I'm in the workspace here, which is initially just our home directory. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna start off with some terminal commands. Um, I'm gonna touch, all right? And if you touch a file that's not there, oops, back in my terminal. If you touch a file that not that's not there, remember, it will create it. So I wanna touch an index.html file. All right, so I'm going to touch that, and we should get an index.html right up here, which we do. Uh, the next command that we're going to do is to uh, make a directory, so mkdir for make directory, and I want a CSS directory, and I want a JavaScript directory. Notice how I just leave a space in between those two. All right, so then I should get two more directories or folders, one for CSS, one for JS for my JavaScript. Then I'm gonna CD or change directory into my CSS. And notice that now I'm in slash CSS. And go ahead and I'm gonna touch index.css. And then CD, CD dot dot to 
go up. All right. Uh, if you're in Mac, CD just gets you where you want to go back home, by the way. CD dot dot's going to jump you up. Um, so then I want to go ahead and I'm going to CD into now my JS folder. And then I'm going to touch index dot JS. And then CD back up to the master level. And inside of my CSS, I have an index.css. Inside of my JavaScript, I have index.js for JavaScript. Awesome. Uh, don't say. And now I can open up. I have an HTML file. I have a CSS file. And I have a JavaScript file all organized, ready to go. All right, so now my file structure is all set. So let's go ahead and save all of these changes to GitHub so we can get started working on our project. All right, so we do that by git add space dot, which just adds everything. Then I'm going to commit uh, -m for message and it's called second commit. There we go. Created all that stuff. And then I can just go ahead and git push. And it's going to ask me for my username and then my password. And you can see it working. Ta -da. push from master to master. Now I go back into my YouTube up here and look, there's my Bower components, my JavaScript, my index file, and it's all ready to go. Okay, so just so you know, remember um, that the, uh, the workflow here is after you have it set up, when you want to save and push everything to GitHub, I'm just going to type it in my index.html document just so it's there. Up here. So remember, you can go to git add and this add space dot, that's going to add absolutely everything. And then you can git commit. And it wants a dash M for a message. And you can put anything in here. It doesn't really matter. And then after you do that, all you have to do is git push. All right. And then everything's going to be saved uh, forever on uh, GitHub there. All right. So short video, all right, went a little faster this time because um, hopefully you've gone through this whole thing with me before, and this is actually the second time you're setting up another project and then just pushing. Um, you can also uh, pull stuff down as well if you made changes somewhere else or if somebody else made ch changes, um, you can actually pull and create a pull request as well. All right, so uh, hopefully this setup was helpful, and then I'll be back next time with the HTML. All right, see ya.